It's your wife calling. You haven't told her yet, have you? I need to wait for the right time, all right? It's been two years. When will the right time be? Hey, come on. Hey. No, don't touch me. Sharon, I understand this can be extremely difficult. I'm wondering, uh, would you prefer if your husband was here when we talk about this sort of thing? Is there any way you can call him or, or get in touch with him? No, it's okay. He's out. He's out of town on a business trip right now. You can tell me. I'll just tell him. We've gotten the results back from the blood work and the, and the tests that we did and I'm, I'm afraid we're in more or less the same spot we were on your last visit that the cancer doesn't seem to be responding to the treatment that we've picked out at all and I'm afraid at this point there's not a lot more that we can do for you <laughs> medically now we we do have outreach programs, and look, I know you're very strong. If there's, if there's anything that you need, feel free to reach out. I got something to tell you. What? I want a divorce. Well, why? You call yourself a man? You're not a real man. Yeah. Baby mommy crying. Oh, baby girl. <sighs> Mom's not crying. She's just a little tired, feeling a little sick. Everything's gonna be all right. You about ready for bed? Yes. Come on, I'm walking to bed. Let's go.
I know after all these years, this is not what you expected from me. But I promise I'll make it go as smoothly as I possibly can. I'll make sure you own the house, that you own the car, and I'll throw in, you know, 30% of our company. Make sure that belongs to you. Are you kidding me? Not for sale. After all that I've done for you, this is how you repay me? <laughs> Justin, I don't want anything from you, but I do need one month's notice before the divorce procedure. Okay. Right. I ask that we struggle to live the most normal life as we can over the next month. My reasons are simple. Our daughter has exams in just one month's time and I don't want to disrupt her with our broken marriage. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm not done yet. Do you remember how you carried me on our wedding night? Yeah, I do. I asked that you carry me from our bedroom to the front door every single night over the next course of the month. Have, have you gone crazy? No, but I'm about to. So, you just wouldn't believe the day I had with Sharon at my house today. Uh, what did she say? <sighs> well, so I told her about the divorce, and uh, she said that she had some conditions. and uh, Some were understandable, others were just really odd. So, the first one, she said that she doesn't want anybody to know, just to keep it quiet for the, you know about 30 days because, you know, our daughter has exams. So I thought that was reasonable, you know, we don't want to upset her while she's doing all that. And uh, the second one was just completely bananas. And uh, Wait, so, do you want some coffee first? Yeah, please, thank you. So the second one, she wants me to carry her to our bedroom once a day for a month. That is ridiculous. Yeah, that's what I said. But that's what she wants. <laughs> no I'm matter what she wants, no. <clears throat> She's going to have to face the fact you're divorcing her. Yeah, I know.
Um, thanks for knocking. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. I was hoping to catch you here. What's up? Look, I wanted to come talk to you and, um... <clears throat> Listen, I don't, uh... I don't want to divorce my wife anymore. No. You're kidding me, right? Are you, are you serious? Yeah. Are, are you feeling okay? Are no, you... listen, listen, I'm serious, okay? What you and I have going on can't go on anymore. Look, I still love my wife. Just spend some time with her. You know, I'm just being stupid doing this. No, 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 no. Just stop. You know what? Get out of my house, get out of my life. I don't want anything to do with you. Just go. I'm sorry. Sharon. Hey. Hey, wake up. Hey. Wait, Sharon, wake up. Sharon. Baby, wake up. Hey, wake up. Oh my god. Oh my god, wake up. Please wake up. Come on. Dear Justin, my love, if you are reading this, I am already gone. I love you dearly, and I know that you will be happy, but my time has come. I was told that I had just 30 days to live at the time you requested a divorce. How long, doctor? Tell me how long I have. 30 days? <laughs> at that time, I was just not able to share this with you. I know that things have not been the same between us, but I sincerely thank you for making my last days as enjoyable as possible. You reminded me of when we fell in love. When I said, for better or for worse, until death do us part, I meant it, Justin. Though I was devastated, I am now content. You will forever and always be everything I ever wanted, you and Chris. I have taken care of the insurance so that she will be well off. Please make sure that you find a woman that will love her as I have myself. She deserves everything that the world has to offer and it hurts to imagine how this will affect her. I now have no more pain and no more worry. You are the greatest man I could have ever asked for to share my life with. Your love, Sharon.